Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around January 15th. Okay, so you know the timing is fluid. This could happen at any time in the near future. Not every reading is for you. We're just going to see what comes up. What do we have for a message today? What's coming? Five of Swords reversed. Oh boy. Ten of Swords. Well, Ten of Swords is pain. This is the end, right? We have somebody here that is suffering. Uh, looks like they're, they're still alive, but they're suffering. So there's a lot of pain here. Needing to walk away, needing to, needing to go someplace. This is in a lot of pain. Need to go. Um, five of swords reversed. This is, uh, I wonder if there's some, we've talked about this a lot. I don't know if there's crime being exposed because the five of swords is kind of like a crime. Um, it could be bloodshed, you know, I'm just, I'm just being honest. Hate to start reading out like that, but the cards, you know, I have to go with what the cards say. I could pretty it up, but you know, I'm not that girl. Um, we have somebody here that has no morals. They have no conscience. They are only looking out for number one. And I feel like their 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 pride may be hurt. Their ego may be hurt. They've been wounded. So we have somebody here that has been wounded. Because this is in the past. They're hurting. Now they may be... Uh, I mean, the Five of Swords can go many different ways. This could be surrendering. It could be walking away. They've reached rock bottom. They've reached the end. You know, this is this, this is it. You know, this is it. It's the, there's no more fight left. This could be the end of a battle, honestly. Or it could be war, okay? Because they've got a fist here. This could be war. So it could be the end of the battle or it could be war. You know, whatever. Um, Five of Swords is seriously, it's a big, huge power struggle. There's been a power struggle. Um, this could be the end of a power struggle or it could be literally war um what is this five of swords reversed somebody needs to let go of their ego with that five of swords reversed they need to they need to let go of their ego they're in some sort of pain but their ego has gotten them in that position You don't have to prove yourself. You can walk away and choose happiness. You can go after happiness or you can continue to suffer and fight. Four of Wands reversed, Three of Cups reversed. So these are both cards of celebration. They are both reversed. This is the, this is the end of the party. The party is over. It is cleanup time. It's definitely cleanup time. This is a messy situation and it's cleanup time. It's been fun. But it probably hasn't been real fun. Um, it's been fun, but I think that somebody is has reached the point where it's not fun anymore. It's never fun to clean up the mess. That's never fun. So yeah, it's it's definitely messy. So this is a messy situation. Uh, maybe it's a third party situation. This is the end of a commitment. There could be a change on the home front. This is an unhappy home. It started out great. The honeymoon is over. Absolutely. You know, the honeymoon is over. The party is over. This is not something to celebrate. This is a painful experience. Somebody has been betrayed. They have been, you know... Uh, they're hurting right now. They've been betrayed and they have reached the point where, you know, they're thinking about walking away or they are walking away. They are walking away from something. They're walking away maybe from a third party or a commitment that they got into that that started out, you know, started out as, uh, oh, it was really fun. This was great. It was really, really, really fun. But, you know, whoever they were dealing with, uh, probably was very belittling, abusive, mean-spirited, you know. Uh, the Five of Swords is somebody that 
has no moral conscience conscience and doesn't care who they hurt and you notice there's two people over here walking away so somebody's probably hurt more than one person you know more than one person has gotten caught up in this uh battle okay so but i do feel like uh now it's now it's over the battle is over there could be a there could be in a fight there could be a fight where you know it just it something you know ends this, i mean the five of swords is, is a serious a battle where somebody just walks away and it looks like the, somebody's letting somebody walk away they're letting somebody walk away because you know they want to win at all costs and if and if they they aren't going to win you might as well leave you know Anyhow, four of pentacles reversed. This is um, discontentment on the home front, uh, or with the partner that you are with. It's not. There's no. There's no growth here. Um, I feel like there's parting ways for sure with the three of cups reversed. That's parting ways. Could be from friends. Could be from families. Could be a third party situation. Somebody's parting ways from. Um, I think there's been a lot of gossip. I think people have been talking and maybe the gossip has, you know, gone around and gotten back to somebody. Um, there's definitely parting ways. There's a lack of emotional growth within some sort of commitment and there's been an extreme competitiveness, extreme. And now, now it's over because there's some sort of, uh, serious betrayal that causes the ending this is giving up somebody has done something so low that the only thing left to do is to walk away right could be or fight because that can be walk away or fight what but this is the end of a commitment. Not happy. Not happy about a separation. Somebody may not be happy about a separation as well. Maybe the third party's walking away. Somebody's walking away for sure with that five of swords. There's no commitment. There's no commitment. No, no marriage, whatever. There's no uh, happiness here. And it seems to be extremely messy. We have some dashed expectations here. Somebody got themselves in some sort of a commitment with an individual that had a big ego and had been hurt in the past. This person was wounded, didn't care who they hurt because they needed their ego fed. That sucks. Now we have a change and this is a positive change. This, this is the end of a cycle. So we have a positive change that is coming. The wheel is spinning. The wheel is spinning somebody in a new direction. That's what's happening. This is the end of a third party situation or a friendship or a marriage or a commitment that was based on, uh, well, it had a lot of pain in it. it there's de de deception. There's uh, control, power and control issues. Somebody was very, very controlling. But it is the end. It is the end of that cycle. A new cycle is beginning. Somebody is moving away from a third party or a friendship that betrayed them, that hurt them, that caused them a lot of pain. This is going. It is. It's allowing it. It's not stopping it. It's doing it. It's going with the wheel, you know? It's destined. It's destined change, of course. You know? Ooh, there's been an injustice. There has. Somebody hasn't been telling the truth. Like I said, I said, I said something about crime. And, we ha and it's interesting because I was going to say karma with this, but I stopped myself. We have karma here. We do have some karma. We may have an individual here that has received some karma for the abuse that they caused on another person. Because this is abuse. Injustice. 
We have an injustice. Somebody hasn't been treated fairly. They've been lying. They haven't been telling the truth. I mean, justice reversed is not happy with an outcome. Lack of integrity. We definitely have somebody here who lacks integrity. That lies a lot. Now this person, this, this person that lies a lot is going to be facing some karma. We've talked about that. They may be losing some sort of um, happiness. It was false happiness anyway that they created to fill, you know, to feed their ego because that is highly egotistical. So we definitely have somebody here that got themselves committed to some sort of situation that, you know, wasn't... Uh, balanced it wasn't based in integrity it wasn't built through with integrity there was in inequality there there was there was imbalance there's a lack of truth it was a poor decision now there's consequences this is also the end of a contract it is it's the end of a karmic contract that's what it is, because this is a karmic contract, and this is the end of it. I mean, it is. So the karmic contract is ending. It is ending. Uh, there could be, there could have been some some cheating going on. You know, there could have been some cheating going on, or something like that. Somebody was breaking the law. And there's, you know, it's, it is against the God's law or the universal law to cheat. And I don't know if it's cheating, but this is like law breaking. Somebody is breaking the law. And, and you know, and it's funny because I said crime being exposed, truth coming out. The truth is, like we've said in the last three dailies, the truth is coming out. If it hasn't come out yet, it's going to. It's some of you, it definitely has to do with a third party, but this is the end of a karmic contract with somebody that, uh, I don't know, looks like it's a third party or it's friends or something. Could be friends, you know, somebody could be ending a contract with friends that don't support them, you know. This is lack of friendship, dashed expectations. There could be a fight. You know, between friends or, or I don't know who. There, it feels like there's going to be a fight. Somebody could get hurt. And they could get really angry. Because I see the fist. And this is a bully. So, yeah, somebody could definitely get angry. Ooh, two cups. So this is about a partnership. It is about a union. Where there's been some sort of unfair treatment. Somebody is hurting over a partnership. They are suffering. There's been lies. There's been deception. There's been somebody in the middle. You know, the third party could be a mother, could be a girlfriend, could be a boyfriend, could be a child, could be a friend. There's Or people in the middle. There's been somebody that has been causing problems in a partnership. But that partnership is coming to an end. A partnership is definitely, definitely coming to an end. There's been a lot of lies. I feel like there's also been an argument, or there could, could be an argument with no resolution in sight. And I have to be honest with you, the law could get involved at this point. There could be an argument that comes up and, you know, the cops get called. Because destined change is needed. This is the wheel spinning somebody in a new direction towards what they, where they are meant to go. This is the end of a partnership. I, I gotta be honest with you, the, the 10 is an ending. Ooh, stepping down. Stepping down, giving up, and this is like giving up too. I give up, I surrender, 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 surrender. I surrender, I give up, can't do it anymore. Somebody's gonna need to give up because they're gonna, it's, something's gonna happen.
This is this is a uh, admitting defeat, powerless. This is a fall from power. It is a fall from power. Somebody could be taken down. Okay, they could be taken down. You know, they've been on top. They've been they've been fighting something. They've obviously been fighting. They've been highly competitive. A lot of competition here. They've been fighting something, fighting um, coming clean, fighting telling the truth, fighting being honest, fight, fighting the legal system even. You know, somebody has been fighting. They don't care who they hurt. Um, fighting even, uh, you know, karma, fighting the universe, whatever. They've been fighting something. Now they're going to they're gonna hit rock bottom. Somebody is about to hit rock bottom. And they're going to be angry. But it's the consequences. This Just just justice reverse is consequences for actions. Somebody's going to be uh, receiving some consequences for their actions. They're going to be losing something. This is losing something. I don't know if people are walking away or or something like that. Somebody's going to be losing something. They could even, it feels like they, they, this could be like under attack, you know. Um, we have a union where there's some sort of imbalance. And I feel like there's an imbalance because there's a meddler or a third party or another person that is engaged in the situation. This is going down. It is going down. Somebody's about to be judged for their behavior. They are. Now this is a card of destiny and karma. A cycle is coming to an end where there has been lies, there's been dishonesty, There's been a lot of competitiveness. Somebody was in some sort of marriage or commitment or living situation with somebody that didn't care. I mean, this person was abusive. Only cared about themselves. Huh. Strange. Now, strength is a card of self-respect and courage and confidence and willpower and discipline. Somebody is going to have to find their strength to let go because that's the meaning of the strength card. The strength card is the strength to let go of something and to remember who you are. You know, this is a card of character. And healing. We ha you have to find your strength to uh, restrain yourself and control your emotions and know your value. It's going to take a lot of strength to go in this new direction. This is also a card of grace and control. You know, it's like remaining in control of your emotions. And this is emotions all over the place. So somebody has been in a very emotional situation. They have. But now it's like finding your discipline and your determination and your willpower to go in that new direction. This is finding the confidence and being brave. So I think we have a very strong individual here who is accepting that a cycle is over. 
and I feel like they're I feel like they're they're giving up on a contract that they got into that taught them a lesson about their value and their worth, you know? This is like a tact. This is like a graceful exit. But I don't know how graceful it really is because I see a fight up here. Okay? This is stepping down, quitting, walking away. Somebody's walking away. It could happen after a fight. Um, this is courage. Strength is a card of courage. Finding the courage to let go. Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles is success. Financial success, permanence, flourishing, long-term prosperity. Starting a new, a new business, uh, moving into a new home. Headed towards abundance. This is headed. This is abundance and this is abundance too. It's an eight. Eights are about abundance. So we have somebody, and this is fortune and tent completion. We definitely have the end of a cycle where there's been a lot of struggle. This struggle has been caused by a partnership. This partnership has been nothing but a battle. It has been nothing but walking on eggshells. It has, there's been an injustice. There's been a lot of lies. There's been a lot of abuse, mental abuse, verbal abuse, bullying, belittling. Okay. It's over. It's over. This is, it is, it's over. 10, 10, 10, completion, completion, completion. This is definitely the end of a cycle where there has been a lot of pain. The partnership that caused you all that pain is over. And you are headed towards regaining your strength and remembering who you are. And you are headed towards financial stability, long-term success. This could be marriage. It could be a commitment that lasts. This is like forever, the Ten of Pentacles. This is long-term permanent success. So anyway, I feel like this day is about... Hmm. walking away it's walking away from an abusive partnership into abundance seriously it's parting ways though it is definitely parting ways with these two cards. It's parting ways from a previous commitment, which is the partnership we talked about, that was unbalanced. It wasn't based on integrity. So there is walking away. It's, it's, it's remembering who you are and being strong and disciplined and determined to have abundance and something permanent and long term. And this is good luck. This is this is luck on your side luck and destiny will bring you abundance when you find your courage and your confidence and your strength to move away from whoever this person or people are that don't support you somebody ha may even have to turn their back on friends or or family or a previous partnership you know that just wasn't balanced at all not even a tiny bit it was just a whole lot of pain and suffering so this is this is the day where you know um i don't know there there could be somebody that that is very upset you know they're very upset i know i keep going all over the place but the, this is what this is you know we have somebody here that get they may get into a fight because somebody is leaving them you know what i mean it just it all stems from pain 
serious pain. We have somebody here that is angry, and they and they could they could start a fight. <laughs> I, I know I already said that. I think we have two people that have been together that are not meant to be. They aren't, unfortunately, but. And destiny has been trying, the wheel has been trying to get this person or these people to, you know, find their courage to let go. It's never easy to let go of somebody that you committed to, you know, that you, you know, were at once when you first met them, it was all fun and games. It's not easy. So anyway, oh. There's an unexpected opportunity for love here. The lovers. That means there's another option. Somebody is headed towards something that is more aligned. This is a perfect match. But this is also a major choice. And it is about a contract. You have to choose. You, and a choice is always a choice between two. I have to say that because people just don't get it. There's a choice. You can, you're not, you know, you, this is only going to last for so long anyway. This whole scenario is only going to last for so It's all going to come crumbling down, okay? Very, 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 very soon because it's not meant to be. We have a third party situation where there's no happiness. There's discontentment. There's uh, fighting. <laughs> You know, there's ego, whatever. That's all coming to an end. It is all co it, completion, completion, completion. There's a new opportunity for love here that with somebody that you are more compatible with. I mean, that's what I see. So yeah, there's a realignment going on. This is terminating a commitment. Could be divorce. Could be split. Could be whatever. This it is. Terminating a commitment. Going down going in a new direction. Facing fears. Having no fear. And headed towards abundance and love. So that's what's happening. Now the lover's card is an unexpected choice in love with somebody that is not your usual type. You will be, be presented with this option. But you got to remember there will be consequences in either direction. If you choose to stay in this situation that is killing you, you'll die there. You could die alone. Even if you're with that person, you can be with the, the abuser and still die alone. Or you can choose to go towards love in somebody that you are more compatible with. It's going to take strength and courage. So anyhow, I feel like this day is about uh, walking away, knowing your value. Possibly uh, getting the law involved. Um, some of you are getting a very fortunate opportunity for something permanent on this day. You could you could actually you know start something new with somebody, but I don't I don't think it's that quick. I honestly feel like this is the day where there's the departure. You know, it's the separation. It's, it's a messy situation. It's time to clean up this mess. So this is it's a messy day. Good luck.